what is up my dear friends in this video i'm going to share with you how to remove and install the power steering pulley if you first time to the channel please subscribe and click that notification bell you won't miss any videos let's get begin for this job you need a pulley puller and installer set you can get one of them pretty cheap around 30 dollars from ebay and amazon okay now we need to screw the jack screw inside the puller body like this all right removal place the pulley jaws under the pulley flange like this get your puller body in you see there's like half moon shapes place the puller body inside and put the another half piece back in place and tie the screw all the way down the jack screw needs to be tied down and until it will stop all right and then place the retainer sleeve over here we go that's our pre removal set and i grab the impact it's easy and hold the puller body with the wrench and remove it with uh, using impact tools no worries you can use impacts for removal but i won't recommend you to use the power tools during the installation process yeah you will be good to go you can watch the video a few times if you need or leave a comments down below if you have any questions and if something is not clear all right here's our pulley we removed and pulley is ready to be installed a new pump here we go there's a new pump actually it's a remanufactured pump supposed to be like a brand new and put it place it in a waste spray some lubricant it will help with our installation process okay place the new pull over the pulley shaft make sure it's straight it's not an angle and push it down for initial start okay now we need to use a screw that's a little screw you'll find in your kit screw it inside the pulley shaft that's called the installer shoe screw and screw that jack screw over the top of the installer screw and tie it all down now we need to put a thrust washer like so and our bearing don't forget the bearing that's very important part put it in the right position and our puller body same way and add a little bit of lubricant to the threads will help us to go through those threads easier okay tie it down by hand and now we're using only branches we're not using any power tools at this moment just the wrenches okay place the wrench over the puller body and start turning that screw down the jack screw and see you pull it move it a little bit down and then go slowly and watch the process okay that's pretty much what you need to do and i will speed it up the video and you can listen to the music and see what i'm doing that's pretty much straightforward yeah if you like the video thumbs up and subscribe to the channel very appreciated that this uh, power steering pump is from dodge grand caravan 3.3 3.8 gas engine pretty much the same pumps are on most of the makes and models and uh, yeah you can find different threads different sizes different shapes but the procedure will be the same and always check underneath how it fits and check make sure it looks exactly the same how pulley was originally installed on old pump just remember that and now we need to loose our our structure what's over top and take it all apart and check the our installation okay look at that it's yeah took us le less than five minutes it took me about 10 minutes to get everything done on the video it's even less and now is the time to remove the installer screw 
and our pump is ready to go back and be installed new pump new pulley and we're good to go wipe all oil we spray it a little bit over and nice and clean look at that all flash same way how it was originally pump 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 and no problems anymore right guys very appreciated your time for watching this video and if you have some questions please ask down in the comments below and yeah let's help each other to do the repairs and save some buck if you would like to support my small hobby youtube channel please go and watch that video on the bottom or that one on the top or that one on the side and yeah stay safe drive safe and see you soon okay have a good day bye bye